Hey, welcome back to Ask Joe. Here are answers, blah, blah, blah. Scott Cornfield asks, what do they do with those leftover seatbelt parts after they cut up the ones they demo on the planes? You know, for those of us who can't comprehend complicated devices like seatbelts. Well, Scott, those extra restraints have actually been donated to a brand new S&M themed airline inspired by the book's Fifty Shades of Grey. It's called Bondage Air. Here's one of their flight attendants. Sharon Solomon asks, what's operating in a cloud? Well, Sharon, that term's actually changed quite a bit over the years. It was coined originally by a Dr. Klaus von Schneitzenhofer, who was known for performing surgeries way up high in the air. It was only many years later that his staff realized they weren't going up in the air at all. It was just a big nitrous oxide leak in the hospital. Today, of course, operating in the cloud is a type of computing wherein most of your data and programs are stored on servers that you can then access over Wi-Fi, you know, through the air. Hence, in the cloud. That's a metaphor. Cassidy Merriweather wrote, who's going to star in the debut? Well, Cassidy, the lead role is still up for grabs. It might be Falcon or McBain. But the real star in our movie is going to be a little superstar called Awesomeness. The illustrious Howard McDaniel writes, The Taco Cabana girl, something about her is not quite right. What is it about her that creeps me out? I know what you're saying, Howard. Luckily, you're asking the right guy. I was in a Taco Cabana commercial, and I can tell you exactly what's wrong with that girl. See there? That's me, on the left. I'm agreeing with her. See me nodding? I'm agreeing with her. While the back of my head is fantastically predominant in that commercial, one thing you're not seeing is right off to the side, there's a bucket. Because she did about 50 of these commercials in one day, and about 45 takes of each one of those commercials. Every single time she bit down on one of those flautas, she's not going to eat every single one of those. It'd be like a hot dog eating championship. So what you don't see is that as soon as she takes a bite, <laughs> so the whole time that she's talking, she knows there's a bucket half full of chewed up nasty food sitting next to her. That could affect anyone's performance. So, I mean, that's it, really. Oh, and she was the Zodiac Killer. And returning champion Eric Grubbs asks, what's the best book you've read in the last five years? Eric, my brain doesn't go back any further than about a year and a half, but the ones that have really stood out that I've read recently, um, I read The Sun Also Rises, classic, Hemingway. I read it in Italy, so great reading experience and amazing book, obviously. And I typically enjoy nonfiction books a lot, like uh, Freakonomics and uh, Outliers by Malcolm Gladwell, uh, books that have really kind of made you rethink the way the world works. I've also really been inspired by books on lifestyle design, like The 4-Hour Work Week and Rework. And if you'll forgive me for being a little bit cheesy, Amy's actually written a few books that I think are pretty awesome. And actually, on the topic of books, hey, uh, good time as any to announce this. I'm about to release a book myself uh, that I'm going to put out there and start marketing. It's called The Significant Dust Mite, Intelligent Rantings from a Guy Who Thinks His Opinion Matters. It's basically a collection of blogs and essays and things that I've written through the years um, on all kinds of topics from science to politics to just personal things, observations on the world, pop culture, and all those kinds of stuff. The basic gist of the whole thing is that when it all comes down to it, you know, there's 7 billion people on the planet, we are all individually pretty insignificant, but uh, just like a dust mite can make you sick, maybe one person's opinion can make a difference. And so, here's mine. Announcements on the significant dust mite will be coming soon, keep your eye out for it, uh, but in the meantime, I think we're done here. Stay out of the sun.